addressing the controversy here. Nation. Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2023. <sighs> you gotta own it. It's officially 2023. Another year sticking to my guns. Another year just knowing as long as you keep pushing forward amazing things can happen in your life. Not only can you use the moments in front of you to conquer anything that you want, but you can also use this time to love. To create meaningful relationships, to create a life that you're proud of. So here I am, 2023. Still alive, still sober, still pushing forward. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all these moments in time. This is the dream, for the dream. This will be my last plunge in the cold water because I'm headed to Florida, but uh, that's the claim. Centering myself for 2023, so. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's do this. Got massive goals for 2023. We just kicked it off in style. We're here again, dreaming. I have massive goals for this year, but before I can start chasing those goals, I gotta make sure that I can even surf. So I surfed about a week ago for the first time since my surgery. There's a little bit of a wave again. JT's here for the day, New Year's Day, and we're just gonna be looking around, trying to find some, some surf. My main goal for this year, New Year's resolution style, is to 
start checking off countries. So, as a lot of you guys know, if you've been watching along, you know that I'm trying to serve every country in the world, and that's a massive goal. It's probably not something I could do this year, but it's gotta start somewhere, so. I'm really excited to start taking that seriously. It all starts with getting back in the water, so. Here we are. I did the polar bear plunge and the there were some waves. The tide's really low right now, but the wind's supposed to be offshore for the next couple hours and the tide should be working its way back in. So dreams on and we're doing it. What's your New Year's resolution? I got none. You didn't see that coming, did you? No, I, I didn't see that coming. I don't think I have one. I know what it is. All right, let's hear it. Get good, get better footage for me. Yeah, all right, get better footage. For the vlog. Yeah. Ooh, your New Year's resolution could be to surpass Mackie in followers. No. Impossible. No, that's, a, that's impossible. <laughs> Nice car. <laughs> what do we got, dude? <laughs> what a blessing. Tell her I said thank you. How can I get in touch with her? Here, dude. Let you run out. Yeah, I'm trying to find ways right now. What's this lady's name? Alfreda. Alfreda? Yeah. All right. Land River Monmouth. <laughs> That's a cool gift. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. All right. Are you surfing? All right. We just got what JT referred to as the Lego drop. Um, ben, congrats on your new Defender. Welcome to the Defender community. Alfreda, Land Rover Monmouth. Love your videos and positive vibes. Stay stoked. And she personally sent me a Lego Land Rover Defender. Look at that. That's awesome. Thank you, Ray. Did I tell you about the India trip or no? <laughs> then, yeah, you can't be just dropping this right now. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, you know, there's no heads up ever. Did I tell you about it? When are we going tomorrow? Oh, that was a bomb. I have zero information. <laughs> down on the beach it's a beautiful day what a way to kick off the year there's definitely waves the tides super low but that's making some of these little sandbars kind of hollow so here we are oh look they're going polar bear plunging um, I know what it's like uh, yeah so gonna try to catch a couple waves a lot more inviting than the last time I surfed so let's see how I do for my second time out since my surgery wish me luck and uh, happy new year for the dream you
got a couple, almost got out because it was so bad. Checked another wave, came back. It was like head high. Went out, 20 minutes later, pretty much flat. But uh, first day of the year, we started it off right. The dream's on and uh, feel good. So 2023 is gonna be a mean one. Woo! All right, Nub Nation. I wanna do a little bit of uh, addressing the controversy here. Not that there's much of a controversy. First of all, I wanna say I'm beyond stoked, over the moon, baffled, very, very impressed with Penn Medicine and uh, completely tripping that I am back in the water. Now, take back in the water with a grain of salt. You know, I didn't just fly through that and I'm 100%. I have a long way to go. I do have some muscle atrophy in my shoulder. To get back to 100% strength, they said I probably won't be there till around February. It's a slow process and uh, it's gonna take a lot of work, but I've been working at it every day and my goal is obviously to get back to 100%. That being said, I received literally thousands of comments of people congratulating me being back in the water. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. A lot of people have reached out to me and told me that the end of my last vlog was very motivational and inspiring. No, no, Dennis. Dennis, you little animal. So Dennis is deciding to bark at a dog that's probably four or five times his size. So I just wanna say thank you, everyone. I know I'm a surfer by trade, but my goal in life is to inspire. And my goal is to push the human, you know, just the mind, the body, the spirit, push the human spirit over the edge and see how far we can take this thing. By all counts, I am a very average person. You know, I'm average height, average weight, average ability, average strength. I'm very run of the mill. I'm not really extraordinary at anything in my life. I never really have been. I've been good at stuff, but part of my goal is, you know, capturing that human spirit and seeing how far I can push myself. That being said, thank you for everyone who reached out to me to congratulate me. I also had a good amount of comments, DMs, and messages kind of being like, you're being really stupid, you're out there too quickly, this is ridiculous, what are you doing? According to your social media, you have only been out of surgery for three weeks. So a lot of people who are really concerned, and I completely understand and appreciate the fact that they are concerned. And mixed in there, of course, we had a few assholes who just wanted to talk but those I'm not even addressing. I'm just gonna ignore that because people are gonna find any reason in life to tear down people who are doing good. That's just, sadly, that's a lot of the internet and some of human nature. But I truly believe for the most part, most human beings are really good people and absolutely stoked and truly are happy for each other. So that being said, I just wanted to lay the timeline out very, very clearly. I broke my collarbone into three pieces on October 28th. First doctor told me I did not need surgery. Second doctor told me I definitely needed surgery and my recovery was gonna be anywhere from three and a half to five and a half months. Now that surgery was going to be done with one piece of metal across the top of my bone. After that surgery, I was going to go into a sling anywhere from two to six weeks where I was going to experience extreme muscle atrophy, which would have made my arm really small, really weak, and my muscles wouldn't have been there to prevent me from becoming injured again. My third doctor from Penn Medicine, the one that I eventually went with to do the surgery, he told me that he does the surgery a little differently. He uses two pieces of metal, one on top, one in the front, and there's no sling after surgery. The injury will be 100% secure. So from that point on, right after the surgery, as soon as I'm able, I'm to start working on my range of motion and using my arm normally in every way except lifting over five pounds. So I was on a five pound or under limit. That technique dramatically reduced my muscle loss and dramatically reduced my timeline for healing. So in dramatically reducing the amount of muscle loss, I also dramatically reduced the recovery time. So. A few people were saying that I kind of pushed the doctor to say that I could go surfing on Christmas. I just want to clear it up. The doctors were 100% on board with me going surfing on Christmas. I did make a couple jokes in my vlogs that might have made it seem like I was pushing the issue, 
but December 21st was the six week mark. So I was allowed to surf six weeks after my surgery. I ended up surfing on December 23rd, which was six weeks and two days after my surgery, around two months. I thought a little over two months, but I counted it back. It was 56 days. Technically two months is 60 days, but I just went with weeks. It was eight weeks since I injured it, which naturally I thought was two months. And it was six weeks and two days since the surgery. That being said, I talked about it. I was weak, I was fatigued, my muscles weren't 100%. I did do strengthening with weights and I did do push-ups and certain things before to make sure that I was able to do that. Now, on top of that, I wanna make sure that people aren't rushing to go surfing after their injuries. It's a case-by-case -case basis. Don't just go surfing six weeks after an injury because I did it in my vlog. My doctors were 100% behind me. And on top of that, yes, I pushed it. The waves were definitely big. They were definitely sketchy, but I wasn't taking off on just anything. I wasn't pushing it beyond belief. I wasn't just dropping in and pulling into barrels on shallow sand. What my doctor told me is that I can't hit my arm on the ground. I can't sustain another injury like I did the first time. Well, naturally, that's pretty obvious because the first time I sustained the injury, it broke my collarbone. So if I did it again with a weaker collarbone, I would have probably had a similar result. So what I did is I had enough confidence in myself that I wasn't going to hit the bottom. And that's why the first session I only ended up taking two or three waves because I was only taking waves that I knew for a fact were safe. The second session, it was still shallow, but the waves had dropped in size a little bit and I knew that I could make some of those barrels. Now, was I taking a chance? 100%. It was not the smartest thing that I could have done and it was not the perfect example of what I should have done. However, I had confidence in myself. I got in, I was very cautious and careful. I got the ways that I knew I needed and I got out of there. So therefore, I just wanted to address it. I don't personally think it was a big deal, but I also want to put it out there. Your doctor gives you the last word. Your doctor tells you what you can and can't do and then from there, you evaluate your confidence and your skill and you go from there. So would I suggest going out in well overhead surf after six weeks after a collarbone surgery? Absolutely not, I would wait 12 weeks. However, I did it, I came out fine and here we are. So from here on out, I'm gonna be surfing smaller ways, I'm gonna be strengthening and I'm ready to move on with my life. So thank you everyone for the support. I love you very much. I just thought it was important to talk about. Stoked to be back in the water. Totally honored that everyone supported me along the way. As always, the dream is real. Nub Nation for the win, for the dream. Here we are. Heaviest day yet. We only got two brave souls. But if that thing jumps into here, dude, it's not good. You should literally turn it off. <laughs> I'm serious, it's just safe. I'm turning it off because my dad's the, the guy, but I'm gonna go online and look and see the last time that an automobile decided to jump into gear when it was sitting on a flat surface. <laughs> this is, we brought our dog trainer down while we train. While we, we train. Piglet. Yep, piglet. June so squat. Look at Dennis, Dennis is psyched tonight, today. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's Wait, he's really doing it? Yeah. This is not real. I told you. He's not doing it. <laughs> I told you. He's really going? Yeah. He's charging it, Mom. You gotta go. Oh. Here, give me Dennis. Mom, go, go. You guys want to go to the car because dad's going to lose his feet in a minute. 
No, I'm not. Are you filming that? I'm going right now, yeah. I'm not losing my teeth. No, dude, it's not. It's cold. It's not 38. I swear. Never. Woo! Thanks, Mom. Yeah, Denny! <laughs> Alright. I just want to end today's vlog. It's an early morning here on the beach down in Florida. Me and Dennis are checking it out. There's actually a small wave. Kind of fun looking. Where you going, Dennis? <laughs> we gotta finish filming this, bud. He wants to get out of here. We got some cool stuff coming up. We got Surf Expo coming up. I'm picking up a new board. We're gonna see all our friends, and uh, then we're gonna be spending some time down here in Florida. So thank you guys for supporting. Thank you for following along. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and uh, feels good to be trying to get back in the water. Trying to be getting back in the water. We're down here in Florida for a week or two so I could surf a bunch. And uh, that's kind of the goal, just be in the warmth, see how my shoulder feels. So it's a blessing to be down here. It's a blessing to be alive per usual. Thank you for following along and supporting the dream. And uh, if you're enjoying the channel and you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe down below. You can also leave a like and you can leave a comment. So thanks for everything and uh, see you next vlog for the dream. Mm -hmm.